Hi everyone, I'm Bob Grip. Welcome to the eighth match of the 2017 High Q season, sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union. Today's match features students from Theodore, Citronelle, and the home team, Satsuma. The questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. So here's how the points are awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The team will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. A correct answer on the first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with a correct answer. And I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. Teams, good luck. Score as many points as you can. Here's your question, Satsuma. As commander of Apollo 17 in 1972, this man, who recently died, was on the last lunar landing. Give me the last name of this honored astronaut. Cardin. I'll try again. Carter. I'll try again. Citronelle. Curlin. No. Theodore. Glenn. No. Siernan. Eugene Siernan. No points. Citronelle, a four-story hotel and spa was buried by snow from an avalanche, and at least 20 people died. In what country did this avalanche occur? Italy. Correct. Four points. <laughs> Theodore, Mrs. Betsy DeVos, married to the heir of the Amway fortune, has come under harsh criticism and stalled tactics by both parties of Congress. She is President Trump's nominee for what cabinet position? Education. That's right, Secretary of Education. <laughs> Topic now is American history. Back to our home team. When Franklin Roosevelt took the presidential oath on March 4th, 1933, he announced that his administration would establish a program of remedial legislation. He quickly summoned Congress to a special session, which lasted from March to June during which time many remediation acts were passed. Give the phrase by which this special Congress is known. New Deal. Try again. Um, New Deal Congress. Try again. Citronelle. Bull Moose. No, Theodore. It was called the Hundred Days. 100 days. Citronelle, after an American bomber annihilated a Japanese military city on August 6, 1945, the Japanese still refused to surrender. Three days later, Americans dropped a second atomic bomb on another city where a naval base was located. Give the name of the second Japanese city destroyed by an atom bomb. Nagasaki. That's right. Four points. Theodore, in 1925, the town of Dayton, Tennessee, was the site of a trial which attracted national attention. The accused in this trial was a high school biology teacher who was charged with teaching evolution, which was prohibited by law in Tennessee. Give the last name of this teacher. Scottsboro? Try again. Citronelle. Scopes. That's right. It was the Scopes Monkey Trial. One point. <laughs> Topic is biology. Identify the organisms that obtain their carbon from inorganic carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Nitrates. Try again. Um, yeah. Nitroxides. No, sorry, Citronelle. Uh, Archaea bacteria? No, Theodore. No. Autotrophs. That's what we needed. Citronelle, give the name of the membrane bound organelles in eukaryotic cells that contain their own genome and carry out oxidative metabolism. Ribosomes. Try again. Endoplasmic reticulum. Try again. Cell wall. Try again. 
No? Somebody want to buzz in if you know the answer? Satsuma. Lysosomes? No. Theodore. DNA. Mitochondria. Theodore, your question in biology. Identify the type of asexual reproduction that is common in insects and can produce an adult from an unfertilized egg. Five seconds. Splitting. Try again. Copying. Nope. Satsuma or citronelle? Binary fission. No. Satsuma. Meiosis. Parthenogenesis. Right. Everybody hands on your buzzers because we're going to ask a question in sports. As soon as you think you know the answer, buzz in. In the waning seconds of Super Bowl 49 with the Seattle Seahawks. Malcolm Butler. Yes, Malcolm Butler is right. <laughs> All right, let's try literature. In the short story titled, A Very Old Man with Enormous Wings by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, give the name of the particular type of spider a woman who had disobeyed her parents had been changed into during a lightning storm. Black Widow. Try again. Brown Recluse. Try again. Banana. Try again. Wolf Spider. Nope. Teens, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. Theodore. Tarantula. Tarantula is right. One point. <laughs> Citronelle. At the conclusion of Jack London's short story titled A Piece of Steak, Tom King remembers a particularly bittersweet boxing match with an aging fighter that he had won as a young man. Give the name of this old boxer Tom King had once defeated in the boxing ring and later saw crying in the locker room. Joe Lewis. Try again. Mike Tyson. Try again. <laughs> no. Theodore. Muhammad Ali. Uh, no. Satsuma. <laughs> Easterbrook. No. Bill. Stosher Bill is what we're looking for. Theodore. In Ernest Hemingway's short story titled A Clean, Well-Lighted Place, as they wait for an elderly gentleman to leave the cafe and go home, the waiters speculate on his age. Give the gentleman's age as agreed upon by the waiters. 52. Try again. 53. Try again. 72. Try again. 62. Nope. Teams wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. Don't buzz in early because then you go last. <laughs> Citronelle. 80. 80 is correct. All right, now we change the rules a little bit and ask some questions in math. In math, as you can see, the teams will have 60 seconds to give an answer, and the questions are directed exclusively to one team at a time. So this first math question goes just to Satsuma, so everyone open your yellow math envelopes, please. An equilateral triangle has sides of length S equals 2 radical 3 feet. What is the square of the area of the triangle? Your answer should be an integer. These are geometry questions today. This is just Satsuma's question for what's left of a minute. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. 144. Try again. Seven. Try again. Twelve. Try again. Theodore buzzed in early. Citronelle. Twelve. No, now Theodore. Six. Six. Twenty-seven. Next math question goes exclusively to Citronelle, so everyone open your red math envelopes, please. Circles C and C prime are concentric. 
and the perimeter of C prime is 10 times the perimeter of C less 4 pi R. The area of C prime will then be K times the area of C. What is the value as an integer of K? Thirty seconds left for Citronelle. <coughs> Ten seconds. Thirty six pi. Try again. <coughs> Forty pi. Try again. One nope. Let's see who buzzed in. Okay, there he goes, Theodore. 20. No, that's too much. 35. 256. <laughs> All right, next question goes to Theodore. Everyone open your blue math envelopes. On a construction site, a right conical pile of sand is 12 feet high, a base radius of 5 feet. For any right angle comb, the complete surface area is the base <coughs> pi r squared plus the area exposed 2 pi r l, where r is the radius of the base and l is the slant height. What is the surface area in square feet of the exposed area, not the bottom of the pile? Give your answer as a multiple of pi. Thirty seconds left for Theodore. Forty-three. Try again. Fifty. Try again. Forty-three pi. Try again. 50 pi. Nope. Satsuma. 130 pi. That's right. Back to a regular category now, a 15-second question in Shakespeare. And back to our home team. In Much Ado About Nothing, give the name of the character who says, quote, one woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. Benedict. Right. Four points. <laughs> in King Lear, the disguised Earl of Kent asks a gentleman to find Cordelia in another town and give a report to her of the plots and treachery that are brewing against King Lear. Give the name of the one item from his purse the Earl of Kent asks the gentleman to show Cordelia as confirmation that this news is from a trusted source. A ring. That's right, four points. In Richard III, Richard rumors that his wife is sick and near death. He wishes to marry Clarence's daughter. Give the name of Clarence's daughter. Lady Anne. What was it again? Lady Anne. Try again. Anne Woodruff. Try again. Satsuma. Queen Elizabeth. No, sorry. Citronelle. Young Elizabeth. No, Margaret. Margaret Plantagenet. Geography is our topic. In the 1960s, a group was formed to regain Arab land in Israel for Palestinian Arabs who had been forced out of their homes during the 1948 war. Give the acronym for this political and sometimes violent group. Seconds. 
ISIL. Try again. Oop. Citronelle. OPIC. No. Theodore. ISIS. No. <laughs> the PLO. PLO is what we needed. Citronelle, your question. The southern coastline of Iran sits on a gulf of water that extends to the Arabian Sea. Give the name of this gulf. Persian Gulf. Try again. The Gulf of Oman. Yes. Three points. <laughs> and Theodore. Because of its location in the Persian Gulf, Manama is an important seaport and trading center. Give the name of the country in which Manama is located. United Arab Emirates. Try again. Kuwait. Try again. Yemen. Try again. I'm in. No. Teams wait for the buzzer. If you'd like to answer, Citronelle. Bahrain. Bahrain is right. One point. <laughs> We're halfway through our competition right now. Satsuma and Theodore are tied at five. Citronelle's in the lead with 22 points. New Horizons Credit Union has been serving its members and the community since 1950. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of the arts, civic activities, local charities, and higher education, including sponsoring annual scholarship opportunities open to all high schools. Visit New Horizons online at newhcu.org to learn about upcoming supported events that help make this area a great place to live. New Horizons Credit Union, offering its members solutions for the real world. Atsuma, here's your question. State the name given to the elements found at the very bottom row of most periodic tables. Length and odd series. Try again. Activity series. Try again. Alicon series. Try again. Act and odd series. Yes. <laughs> One point. <laughs> Sit down. Your question. State the name of the gas produced when perchloric acid reacts with aluminum metal. Oxygen. Try again. Hydrogen chloride. Try again. Hey, Theodore. Helium. No. Satsuma. Hydrochloric acid. No, just plain old hydrogen. Give the last name of the Irish chemist who stated that the volume of a sample of gas is inversely related to the pressure applied to it. Five seconds. Oh. Try again. Satsuma. Boyle. Right. Boyle's Law. The topic is art history. To Satsuma, this group of progressive American realist painters had illustration backgrounds. They portrayed scenes of everyday life with detached, cold objectivity, highlighting social imbalance in the newly industrialized society without being deliberately controversial or condemning. Give the name of this U.S. school of painting that paved the way for the realism of the 1930s and 40s. Juilliard. Try again. Luther. Try again. Cullinard. Try again. New York University. No, sorry. Citronelle. Romanticism. No. Theodore. Cynicism. No. The Ashcan School. Rodin's first sculptural assignment was ornamental doors, which were commissioned by the Ministry of Fine Arts in 1880. Give the title of this work which consists of more than 186 figures in high and low relief and narrative scenes taken from Dante's Divine Comedy and from Ovid's Metamorphosis. Five seconds. <laughs> Satsuma. The Gates of Hell. That's right, four points. Theodore, this American innovator was a nonconformist in both painting style and character. Give the last name of this artist who was the principal U.S. exponent in England 
of the Art for Art's Sake movement and produced symphonic portraits and landscapes using variations in tone. Warhol? No. Citronelle? Blake? No. Satsuma? Smith? No. Train gave us a clue. It was Whistler. All right, time for team choice. Now, in team choice, each team chose the topic it wanted to be quizzed on before the match began. Four points for a correct answer. That stays the same. 15 seconds. That stays the same. But team choice, there's only one answer per team. So teams, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, as soon as you hear that it's wrong, you can buzz in and you can get two points with the correct answer. So Satsuma, you chose Shakespeare. In Richard III, Richard argues fiercely with this character. His adversary says, I have no more sons of the royal blood for thee to slaughter. For my daughters, Richard, they shall be praying nuns, not weeping queens. Give the name of the speaker in Act 4, Scene 4. Elizabeth? Correct. Four points. <laughs> Citronelle, you chose geography. Again, just one answer. A country that borders Saudi Arabia shares the Dead Sea with Israel. Name this country. Jordan. Yes. Four points. <laughs> Theodore, you chose American history. Just one answer. A flamboyant, unpredictable populist turned against Roosevelt's New Deal program after he was elected to the Senate in 1930. He proposed a nationwide social program called Share Our Wealth, which promised to give $5,000 to every American family. Friends called him the Kingfish, but Roosevelt called him one of the two most dangerous men in America. Give me the last name of this man. Seconds. Sit down. Brian? No. Satsuma? Barker? Huey Long. All right, time for our second toss up of the match. Hands on your buzzers, please. It's in literature. In Jack London's short story titled Love of Life, Desperate with Hunger, the man who was left behind on the trail stumbled and fell into a bird's nest. Tell the number of newly hatched chicks. The man ate ravenously because he was nearly stuck. Go ahead. Four. Four is correct. Four points. The topic is physics. Give the name of the physical quantity found from the product of a body's moment of inertia and angular velocity. Average speed. Try again. Force. Try again. Acceleration. Try again. Instantaneous speed. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer. If you'd like to answer, don't buzz in early. <laughs> Citronelle. Speed. No. Theodore. Velocity. Angular momentum. Give the name of the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Calories. That's right. Four points. Give the name of the SI unit for electrical resistance equivalent to one volt per ampere. Joules? Try again. Hertz? Try again. Citronel? Ohms. Yes. One point. Topic is American government to our home team. The Whig Party was led by two men. One was the widely popular Henry Clay. Give the last name of the great orator who also led the Whig Party. Wilson? Try again. Burr? Try again. Jefferson? Try again. Smith? Nope. Citronelle. Uh, Harrison. No. Theodore. Pierce. Daniel Webster. In 1912, former President Theodore Roosevelt left the Republicans to become the candidate of his own progressive party. Give me the nickname 
given to Roosevelt's new party. Bull moose. That's right. Four points. <laughs> Theodore, give the term used to describe voting for candidates from different parties for different offices in the same election. Satsuma. Split ticket voting. That's right. <laughs> World history is our topic. With the death of Henry IV, his son, Louis VIII, became king of France. Louis was a weak king, but in 1624 he appointed a strong minister who was a leader of the Catholic Church in France. This minister was ambitious and enjoyed exercising power. Give me the complete name of this man. That's right, four points. <laughs> Citronel, during the Middle Ages, most people believed ideas about the physical world put forth centuries earlier by Aristotle and Ptolemy. These Greek scholars thought that the Earth was a fixed object in the center of the universe and that all other celestial bodies moved in a perfectly circular path around the Earth. Give the phrase for this Earth-centered view of the universe. Geocentric theory. That's right. <laughs> Theodore, after the Franco-Prussian War, the people of southern Germany finally accepted Prussian rule, and the unification of Germany was complete. King Wilhelm I was crowned emperor in 1871. Give the name of the German title that Wilhelm was given. Kaiser. That's right. Four points. <laughs> okay, we're down to the last question in today's contest. It's a math question, it's a toss-up. Teams, open your white math envelopes now. Real numbers U, V, W have U divided by 2V equals 12, and V divided by 2W equals 12. What is the value of U if W is 1 divided by 36? Thirty seconds, team. <coughs> Ten seconds. Satsuma. Go ahead. 106? No, sorry. Citronelle? Citronel. 180. No. <laughs> Theodore. Four. 16. Points. So our score, Theodore with nine, Satsuma 21, today's winner, Citronelle with 39 points. Congratulations to all of our teams.